There are tons of scholarship available to students from all over the world, but not many Nigerians are aware of these opportunities. We caught up with a startup co-founder, ScholarX.co, Bola Lawal, to discuss ways to identify scholarship opportunities on the internet. So tell me, why did you decide to be a tech startup? Hmm. But how's the journey been so far? I've heard a number of people accuse startups like you that all you just do is copy and paste. What's your comment on that? Now, copying might not be very bad, but in a situation where you don't have good intellectual property rights, okay. then that might be a problem. What do you think? Well, but maybe nothing is wrong when you copy smartly, but what if you are in a situation where there is no good intellectual property rights, like in Nigeria, what happens? Well, you pray. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sure there are a lot of other alternative ways to go about it. Like for us, for example, you know, people say, oh, you know, your idea, how, why did I think about it? Oh, it seems simple. So you, you should worry about people copying. And we we'll tell them that, okay, when you're running a startup, you roll out your ideas in bits. Like what you see from us now is not even a tenth of where we are going. So if you want to copy us, you just copy 10% of our idea. And maybe you're just going to wait and keep watching us and keep copying as we go. But you know, hopefully we, we, we employ on the right authorities to put, to make sure that we enforce laws in, 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 that has to do with intellectual property. We know we, we've seen a lot of in other industries like the film and other industries like that that, that have a, a lot of issues with intellectual property. But there's really nothing I can say then. You know, we hope and pray, but you as a startup itself, you know that's one of the inherent risks in doing business in this part of the world. So you always have to, you always have, to have a mitigating factor against some of those things. Like, and with us, is to say that we think about our fit. You know, and we have a startup, this is what we say we are doing, but there are a lot of layers to it. And as we move on, we peel. So, you know, you want to copy, it's your priority. So what problem would you say your startup is solving? And do you have any success story?
Are, are this full scholarship for various kinds of courses or what? So, but tell me, startups like yours, or a lot of startups that I met, the one challenge they have is monetization. How are you going about that? Finally, Bola, if you were to say to the government today something about supporting startups, what would you say? Thank you for being on Tech Trends today. Thank you very much, sir. That's it for our show today. Do follow us on social media. This edition, as well as the previous ones, can be seen on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog, cfatech.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukomeka Agbata. Oh.